Hey Adam, I can hear you now. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you hi, today? Hi. I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing good, thank you. How was your day so uh, far? Uh, a bit uh, cold <laughs> here. <laughs> it's uh, minus 10 degrees wow. below <laughs> zero, so... <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, not the kind of weather to, you know, <laughs> to yeah, do I some don't... beach things <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, everything is cool. Sounds good. Sounds good, Adam. So, Adam, the Cosmic Cauldron was released on January 7th. So, can you tell me a bit about the making of the album and the production behind this album? Mm, moment. Yeah. Oh. So this album was uh, recorded uh, last year um, around February here in Hungary. We have a great uh, studio here uh, called No Silence Studios. Mm -hmm. It's located in Jula and uh, uh, this town is um, famous for its uh, baths and uh, they have cool baths and uh, Mm, apartments and stuff like that and also there is a very cool uh, metal studio here it's called No Science Studios it, uh, it was uh, established by uh, Istvan Simon mm -hmm. he is the lead uh, producer and uh, I think he did a great job so we uh, took a, a week off so everybody uh, was uh, out of office uh, and out of work and uh, we traveled to Jula and uh, recorded 10 songs uh, for this album mm. and uh, right before the album uh, all the songs was uh, being written so uh, mm, we uh, tried to polish them mm, until the 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 deadline uh, of the studio we this is a kind of ritual um, here at us we would like to make the best out of them so yes yes and uh, that was the recording and uh, after the recording um, it took uh, several months uh, to uh, do the post-production things uh, to the corrections the mixing the mastering etc etc and uh, it was uh, ready in june and uh, after june we uh, started to search for uh, labels yeah. and um, there there came uh, this new label called the uprising records mm. and uh, they signed us which is yeah cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, that was that was cool. <laughs> that was yeah. Amazing, amazing. So ba basically, that's it. <laughs> Wonderful, Adam. And uh, was there any particular concept that was put behind this album? Mm, yes, uh, that's a concept album, so to speak. Uh, that's a that's a traditionally um, in traditional meaning. So. Uh, nowadays, uh, every band came up, oh, this was the concept and that was the concept. No, this is a, a religionally uh, uh, was a, a concept album. So it has a, a, a certain storyline, science fiction storyline with uh, characters and uh, an anti-hero, mm -hmm. uh, a little world building like a space opera yeah. stuff with uh, with a bunch of uh, <laughs> bunch of alien races and uh, with a bunch of starships and uh, the universe will collapse and so on so it was indeed a um, a story driven album and uh, we always uh, uh, wanted to uh, do such album because we love the works of king diamond for example yeah. Or, uh, or I, my personal favorite is uh, Ed, uh, Crimson from Edge of Sanity. Yeah. It is also a science fiction story uh, driven album and it is, it is beyond cool, <laughs> I think. So it is one of my all time personal favorites. So 
uh, we had this uh, dream to oh you you know let's let's make uh, this kind of album um, no one made such albums in in hungary and uh, and we try to try to manage to 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 create a manifest of this of this dream of this science fiction thing and and we we made it wonderful wonderful so, so and, <laughs> as you guys have any plans to give a cinematic experience to the fans in the future since you have a science fiction concept for this album uh yes um we made uh, two music videos mm -hmm. uh, and uh, one lyric video which uh, was made uh, by the use of the artworks uh, of the album. Uh, we uh, worked with uh, two uh, artists. Uh, we tried to, to improve the visual side of this uh, record as, as uh, much as possible. So the cover uh, art was made by Mark Cooper, who is famous for bands like uh, Rings of Saturn and all bunch of science fiction stuff, which is which is way cool. I think I, I really love uh, his works. And uh, the second uh, artist was a Hungarian one. He uh, we worked with him a long time, and. Uh, He's a tattoo artist. His name is uh, Tamás Embry, and uh, we uh, we made a plan with him to to make uh, a certain artwork for all the songs. So every song have an has an artwork. Uh, made by him, and uh, it is uh, this, these uh, artworks are uh, based on the the story, which uh, was about the the album, and uh, and uh, it uh, can be um, seen um, in the booklet yeah. uh, of the of the CD, and I think it's just um, kind of uh, visual. Um, aid or some some kind of uh, visual uh, pathway to for the listeners to imagine all the stuff what's going on here and what what could be there in those in those songs sounds amazing so, yes <laughs> sounds amazing thanks <laughs> and Thank you. Uh, you have any plans touring plans that has put behind for you Mm, sorry, the mm, second part. I yeah. Do you aware. have any touring plans that is set be set for you for the coming? Year? Oh, the touring plans. Yes. Uh, so you know that um, COVID stuff is yeah. going on. Uh, so yeah, this is basically um, all kind of uh, mm, nasty stuff going around in the world and makes. Um, many obstacles for bands for especially for underground bands like us and uh, you know we have to make all those uh, things in di in do it yourself way and um, it is not an easy task uh, to organize uh, any plans for the future but uh, we are optimistic because um, there will be several shows uh, here in Hungary, but that's just a, just a small part. We uh, also would like to go to Europe and uh, make uh, as many shows as possible. And uh, we have an opportunity, thanks to the uh, label, uh, to play uh, outside uh, Hungary, for example, Denmark. But... Uh, these plans are to be announced. <laughs> so they are uh, not yet announced, but uh, yes, we have uh, future plans um, for this year to make a little tour in abroad, on abroad, sorry. In, for example, uh, Austria, Czech Republic, um, 
Germany and, and Denmark as well. Uh, this this is the this is the plan, and um, we will see uh, what will be allowed by this COVID shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, good things will happen. Hopefully, <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, talking about the album as complete, it's like a musical journey. Like you're traveling with the music. You guys did an amazing job. In this album, a Thank great you. trash death metal combined together and a beautiful experience to go with the com complete album, I would say. Thanks for that. And as a band, how do you feel about the outcome of this album? Mm. Uh, we are so stoked, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, uh, we received uh, uh, many positive uh, vibes and energies from the fans and and uh, from the the webzines, the magazines, and um, from all around the world from the metal scene, uh, and which is a very great feeling and uh, it. Um, it's hard to describe. Uh, that's a surreal thing for us because, you know, we uh, live in a small town here in Hungary. Uh, did our stuff for, have, oh, sorry, have been doing our stuff for uh, 15 years. And um, this, this kind of um, impression is uh, what any band can dream of, I think. And... Now it's here, so we are very glad and happy, and and very grateful for all the fans and for all our, our uh, label to uh, make all this happening. And that's very cool. We are very grateful for them. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> and Joe, would you like to share how Needless actually started and how you guys got together? <laughs> That would be a long story, but I uh, try to um, make it in a nutshell. So uh, 2004 is the, the year when Needless was founded uh, during the winter. We were absolute teenagers. Mm -hmm. We uh, didn't know how to play our instruments uh how to sing properly uh, not to mention how to growl or scream or stuff like that uh, we we were completely we we, we have haven't got a clue <laughs> how to do this uh, kind of thing but uh, we tried we tried a lot uh, we played uh, in our parents basements and garages we were teenagers we played uh, a couple of songs from Nirvana, uh, System of a Town, and so on. And um, by the time mm, uh, there came mm, heavier stuff like Sepultura, Pantera, uh, Slayer, and so on. And uh, we were, you know, that's that's a cool. That we we like this extreme stuff. We uh, we basically. Um, found our voice in there and we should uh, do this kind of music I, it, it, it was our, our goal so uh, we tried to make songs like that so we did cover some Sepultura for example uh, Roots and so on and uh, we dived into this extreme metal stuff and uh, Basically, uh, the the band, uh, uh, what uh, is known by uh, people all around the world, is start was started in two thousand fifteen, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that was the the starting point uh, of this extreme metal stuff. And uh, we did an EP. Uh, back then called The Dark Spirits of Ages, mm -hmm. then uh, Heresy came, uh, then Cosmic Cauldron. So we do this uh, extreme metal stuff basically from um, 2015. Mm -hmm. And uh, right before that, uh, 
all those years uh, were about to to get uh, as much musical knowledge as possible to to be able to to write uh, such songs and play them. And that's all. Wonderful, wonderful, uh, Adam. And how has the journey of music been for you guys so far? <sighs> that was uh, tiring. And uh, to be honest, uh, we um, spent a lot of time, a lot of energy and a lot of money into this but uh, we, I can tell uh, in the name of all the members, uh, we loved every minute of it. And I think uh, when you love something, that's uh, no, nothing else matters, really. Just, just, that, just to stick to this. And uh, we stick to this since 2004, yes. So... Mm -hmm. That's 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 kind of a, a romance with music, you know, or or a marriage marriage with music. Yeah. And uh, even when you uh, there are some months or days when you really hate it or really hate each other, uh, the love of music will keep this thing together. That's that. That's how we work. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely amazing, amazing, Adam. And uh, would you like to share some of the great moments that you had over the years? Uh, let's see. Uh, when we uh, came up with uh, the Dark Spirit of Ages, that was uh, our first EP mm -hmm. back then, and uh, we received. Uh, very cool reviews and uh, feedbacks and uh, we was like uh, you know we have to try to uh, dig deep into dig deeper into that uh, kind of uh, pathway so we practiced uh, a lot and uh, we then made um, in 2000 uh, 19 uh, our debut album called heresy which was um, an absolute banger uh, it it all the that all the all the stuff uh, made uh, di uh, but here in hungary we received such a positive feedback which uh, which still uh, kept us motivated to to do um, a second one. So these are the moments uh, when you feel that, uh, yeah, that's totally worth it to to do it, to to did this, to make this work, and uh, to spend money <laughs> and spend uh, energy and free time into this thing because because it's also cool. And we have. Uh, um, great memories about uh, some of our shows mm, back then we played a little um, club show here in uh, hungary budapest uh, before uh, nuclear mm -hmm. mm, those guys are uh, thrash metal band and uh, before nervosa and we played uh, a club concert uh, alongside with uh, Flotsam and Jetsam and Duke's Candid. Uh, it's amazing times, so amazing parties, and we had a really good time back then. So these are the memories which uh, will be kept <laughs> until <Wonderful>. our graves. <laughs> wonderful, Adam, wonderful. <laughs> and Adam, finally, what would be the message that you want to give to the fans around the world? Mm. Listen to good heavy metal and metal music. Stay safe. And uh, if you guys have a free time, mm, check out our new album called The Cosmic Cauldron. <laughs> so that's all. <laughs> Wonderful, Adam. 
And Adam, it was a pleasure meeting you today and have this wonderful interview with you. It was a real pleasure talking, talking to you. And thanks for the amazing music that you've been giving over the years. And thanks to this great album, The Cosmic Cauldron, a brilliant album put up by you guys. Really appreciate the effort you guys did in this album. And thanks again for this opportunity. And I wish you guys all the best in the coming days. I wish you all the best too for you as well. And uh, we are we really appreciate uh, that interview and so grateful to have you here with this conversation. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. You have a great evening out there. Take Thanks. care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.